Did you lose the spring in your step? I think I lost more than the spring. <laughs> Good morning. I wanted to see this view because, like, yeah. can you believe we wake up to this? Oh my goodness. Let's go. going for the 17 miles because our last two have been a bit shorter um, but then when we left the alberga this morning we forgot our walking sticks and then um, we get to the first town and I walk into a, a supermarket because I was gonna stock up for the day and it was really small, not not very well stocked and really expensive. And then I went to the next supermarket, which was huge, and I had too many options. So what is a Camino anyway? Well, officially it's a pilgrimage, and officially it's a through hike that many people have been doing for centuries. And nowadays people do for a million different reasons in a million different ways, like I've said before. You can take it in, in sections, which are called stages, and then come back as your time and resources are available to keep continuing the path or or take like a sabbatical type of moment from life and work or whatever you do and do a really long stretch we're meeting a lot of young people on like gap years or just like long breaks for one reason or another who are choosing to do really long through hikes including the Camino and yeah so the pilgrimage part was a tradition that I connected to because um, it was done by a lot of religious people um, as now I can understand is is a contemplative practice walking as a contemplative practice in silence and solitude, in reflection and contemplation, which is like, 
unbelievable how God knows what we need. Um, and somehow there's a resurgence of this practice that is so needed for, for such a time as this. Yeah, lots of people really just wanting something like this after the pandemic. Now, the little baby. People here walk so much, it's so amazing. And it's so steep everywhere you go. And I love, I love what I'm seeing as far as how life is lived here. Anyway, so yeah, that's the Camino. I'm sure you can Google and find out a lot more specific details, but that's my little bit. That's my two cents. Did you lose the spring in your step? I think I lost more than the spring. <laughs> this is... Please don't tell me this was described as a moderate walk today. Because this is a tough one, really, really tough. One. We've had to take multiple breaks in the last half hour. And I think we have about maybe 40 minutes final destination for today in Deva. So we're just counting the minutes right now. There's Lilia. She somehow got her legs back after feeling that maybe she was going to be in fainting territory. Uh, she found some energy. Today's been a tough day. Beautiful though. Totally worth it. We're maybe 25 minutes away from our albergue. And we're hoping there are beds because it's one of those albergues that first come for serve and I think we'll be getting there around 5 o'clock p.m. Um, but we're hoping it's a pretty big one we're hoping to have beds for us so we'll see you in a bit So why am I doing the Camino? Well, uh, yes, the beach and the epic mountain views was was very helpful. But no, originally I I wanted to do it um, to mark just milestone after milestone. It's like I have a convergence of milestones at this point in my life. So the different things that are converging for me, for us, is um, I turned 50. We had a 25 year anniversary during COVID. Having kids um, become young adults and move out of the house or just kind of finishing with that parenting journey, at least the first stage. Annika is now 22, almost 23. Dante is 19, almost 20. And then there's this kind of what I'm realizing is an epic journey of my own life. I did not know of or was connected to God in my early childhood. I did not feel loved or cared for or like existence even mattered. Yes, pretty extreme, pretty existential from from the, my earliest memories. Um, but it was hard. It was hard. Life was hard. 
And little by little, um, as I became a young adult, just longing and seeking because out of necessity more than anything, um, just figuring out how to be human, why life mattered, trying to find meaning, make sense of life, trying to find purpose. All of it was just, it took a long time. And for now, that works. That works really well. And this is like, hello. We've been walking since 7.15 this morning when we left our albergue, that's the church in Deva. When we left our albergue in St. Martin, San Martin. And it's 5.30, I think it was at least 18 miles, not a little more. And the place here has 60 beds. They filled up an hour ago. Yeah, so we're out of commission here. And we've got to keep going. Everything else is full except a super expensive hotel. So we've got to climb back up the mountain. And... Um... Yeah, instead of five euros each, it'll be 15 euros each. An hour and a half climb up the mountain, but it's a reserved bed. As long as we get there by 30, it's already 5.30. Buen <sighs> camino, pilgrim. We got this. A few moments later. Thank you.